What is up guys, DSTK here. It's been almost a week since I'm using iOS and iPadOS 15.6.1. So it's a time to jump on its performance, new features, bug fixes, security update, benchmark score, main about battery life, and finally, should you update or not. So without further ado, let's get started. Timestamps are already down in the description because I value your time and you can skip in between to watch this specific part of this video. All iPadOS 15 and iOS 15 compatible devices will get this update. And as always, first thing first, let's start with the iPadOS 15.6.1. The size of this update is 154 MB here on my iPad Pro. It may vary from device to device and about the new feature as we don't have any here in iPadOS 15.6.1. Neither we have a modem update this time because basically it's just a security update with some minor bug fixes but Apple didn't mention anything specifically about the what's new in this update and what they had fixed but many users had come across with several bugs on the previous version of iPadOS that has been resolved now. Previously user have problem while playing videos in in the photos app especially if the video is in 4k resolution then it was unable to play in photos app but after restarting the app it was getting fixed and also sometimes audio was not audible while playing several videos within the photos app so this thing has been resolved now completely in this update this problem was there for iphone users as well next bug is also within the photos app previously in ios and ipadOS 15.6 there was a problem by copying videos and photos to the file app somehow actual video and photo was losing the quality over sharing to the file app and maybe it was a flash storage issue i had the same problem on my ipad but now it's been fixed also some user have problem while adding custom fonts to their ipad the recently added font was not showing up in the list it was quite frustrating for creator but thank god it's now fixed app crashing issue is still common while performing heavy tasks for example editing 4k 60 fps dolby vision hdr in luma fusion adding 50 plus uh, layers in procreate creating illustration in affinity designer or making a detailed presentation in keynote and all also while playing FPS games continuously, more likely I have seen app crashing issue is more common for older iPad models. As far as the storage bug, I will say it's been now fixed completely. It load up quite fast and accurate, but somehow the system data is taking way more storage than it should be. Almost it captures 13 GB of the storage here on my iPad. In terms of overall performance, everything seems okay and smooth, but as there is a no significant improvement as such from iPadOS 15.6, as we know, iPadOS 16 is about to launch so moreover Apple will work on stability for iPadOS 15 but I think maybe in dreams because I have tested iPadOS 13, iPadOS 14 and currently we are on iPadOS 15 but this is the worst OS I ever seen in history. Since updating to OS 15 user have various problem and some of them haven't fixed yet. One of them is a battery life. Here I am getting on average 6 to 7 hours of the screen on time in a complete 0 to 100% charge while performing root routine task which is quite disappointing and while performing a heavy task like editing, rendering, making illustration and all and all, I am getting just 4 hours of the screen on time on my 2018 iPad Pro. Here I am sharing battery analytics before this update and after updating to iPadOS 15.6.1. Also here is the screenshot of battery analytics after editing this entire video on my iPad Pro. Especially if you are a gamer, we do have M1 iPad Pro but after updating to 15.6.1, the battery life is getting worse, have on average 5 hours of the screen on time while playing games and taking notes etc which was previously 7 to 8 hours. So moral of the story here is we have no improvement in terms of battery life and you may get lesser battery life after updating to 15.6.1. I have tested battery life in only Pro series iPad, I don't have any idea for iPad Air and simple iPad so if you have then do share your thoughts in the comment section. As iOS and iPadOS 15.6.1 is a security update, so here's the list about what Apple had fixed. First is within kernel and second is in WebKit. So in a simple word, it's an important security update because they had mentioned issue may have been actively exploited. So better to update to 15.6.1 for a security reason. Also I'm mentioning this article link down in the description if you are interested to read. Now let's talk about the iOS 15.6.1. The size of this update is 540 MB and it May varies from device to device. We don't have any modem update this time and Apple haven't mentioned anything specific to what's new in this update as it's an important security update and contains several bug fixes. One of it I already mentioned before that um, user have problem while playing videos in photos app and loses quality while sharing photos and videos to the file app. It's been resolved in this update about green and pink tint issue in the display was previously fixed by Apple but still if you have experiencing such problem then update your iPhone to the latest 
is iOS 15.6.1. Regarding the iPhone storage bug, now it loads all the data quite fast and calculate the category wise storage accurately. System data is taking almost 12 GB of the total storage here on my iPhone. As far as the overall performance, the OS is quite smooth and working absolutely fine. I don't have any complaints so far. If I talk main about the battery life, then currently I have 96% of the battery health on my iPhone 11 Pro. And on average, I'm getting 5 to 6 hours of the screen on time and sometime even of 7 hours in a complete 0 to 100% charge, which is definitely far more than previous iOS 15.6. And we can say an improvement of 10 to 15%, especially for the Pro series user. I just shoot the previous part of this video using this iPhone and it drains battery so quickly but actually I was shooting 4k 60 fps continuously so quite understandable if I share battery analytics of iPhone 12 then user are getting almost 7 to 8 hour of the screen on time after this update and very same for iPhone 13 series user here's the screenshot shared by Tanisha and users are getting on average 8 to 9 hour of the screen on time in a complete charge so more likely I will say battery life is improved somewhat between 10 to 15 percent in iOS 15.6.1. But my genuine piece of advice for iPhone SE user, iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone 7 user, you can skip this update because still the battery life haven't improved for older iPhone models and update after update it's getting worse. But for security reason you should update to iOS 15.6.1. And finally here I'm sharing some benchmark scores for all iPhone models and you can pause this video to check it out. So as per my overall conclusion and for security reason and several bug fixes, all iPad users should update to iPadOS 15.6.1 but the battery life is totally shit and quite frustrating. All iPhone users should definitely update to iOS 15.6.1. Everything is quite good and we have somewhat improved battery life. Just iPhone SE users and earlier devices than iPhone X series should skip this update though for security reason you can still install iOS 15.6.1. Also we have an Apple event on September 7, 10.30 pm IES of course it's an iPhone event so Apple will gonna reveal iPhone 14 series, watch series 9, also public release of iOS 16 and much more. So for now that's pretty much it about iOS 15.6.1 and iPadOS 15.6.1. Hope you will get answer of should you update or not. If you want to know anything else then please leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe this channel and thank you for stopping by till the end and as always I will catch you in the next video.